Hi, this is Hodor Bino from DevilsDigest.com. I'm over here at Dayton where Arizona State lost its uh, first four game in the NCAA tournament to Syracuse 60-56. to uh, Definitely a disappointing loss for Arizona State uh, who has now lost six of their last seven games um, of the se season and the postseason for that matter. Uh, we knew that uh, it was going to be quite the challenge offensively for Arizona State against the famous Syracuse 2-3 uh, zone. And uh, sure enough, uh, the 56 points scored by ASU are the lowest output of, of the season. Now, there were definitely uh, long stretches, I felt, where Arizona State was able to find the sweet spot in the zone, was able to uh, find um, those gaps that can lead to, um, to easy baskets. And... Um, it, true to that uh, theory, they did uh, start the second half with an 8-0 eight, eight run. With seven minutes left, they led Syracuse uh, by seven. But uh, I felt that uh, Syracuse in the last few, uh, few minutes of the game really tightened their defense, uh, forced Arizona State uh, to uh, settle for uh, th three-point shots uh, that were contested uh, with almost no time in the shot clock, and that uh, really uh, hampered Arizona State. Um, unfortunately, we saw um, other trends uh, that uh, really uh, hindered uh, the Sun Devils uh, d down the stretch. Uh, th free throws was a huge issue. Arizona State uh, just made three uh, out of ten free throws was 0-3 uh, in the second half. In such a tight game as tonight, uh, that, is, that is obviously uh, detrimental. Uh, even though uh, Trey Holder and Shannon Evans were both uh, in double-digit scoring, uh, they were combined uh, 9 of 28 uh, fr from the from the field uh, th that was definitely an issue um, I think you can also uh, point to the fact that uh, Remy Martin uh, who had uh, seven rebounds uh, and a handful of assists uh, did not play uh, many minutes down the stretch and uh, I think uh, that is something that uh, the staff might look back uh, and want to and want to do over on that so um, really there's been a lot of um, heartbreaking um, losses for Arizona State uh, in, in, in the last few weeks obviously the accomplishment of making it to the NCAA tournament. Some people will say one year ahead of schedule uh, is definitely uh, nothing uh, to uh, dismiss. But uh, on the other hand, uh, definitely disappointing uh, if you're an Arizona State fan to see uh, so many of the shortcomings that this team exhibited uh, in the last few weeks uh, rear their ugly head again uh, over here against Syracuse, a team that was very challenged um, offensively, only shot uh, 40% uh, for the game. Problem is Arizona State uh, shot the same percentage themselves and it uh, was really hard um, for them to um, o overcome the Syracuse def uh, defense, especially, um, especially down the stretch. Um, I think the future for Arizona State uh, is really bright, uh, but uh, when you finish the game on a sour note like tonight, and like I said, just a downward trend of losing six of the last seven, uh, kind of hard uh, to put that away and think about next year. Uh, but that's what the staff and the returning players uh, will have to do uh, for a program that I believe is trending in the right direction. Signing off for Dayton, this is Hod Rubino reporting for DevilsDigest.com.